The guy that runs these tourneys and his buddy get pretty nasty over the fall when upset parents and coaches call. And good luck if you want to complain to them in person. You won't find them, but I did. They're playing basketball without that basketball. This is sports tournament promoter John Graham. I don't hide from nobody. This is John's lying friend who's definitely trying to hide. Are you here with John? No. John Graham? My name's Aaron. Together, these two have put on some basketball tournaments and put off some basketball tournaments. The tournament was canceled. We went weeks going back and forth asking him, when are we getting our refund? When is our money coming back? And along the way, John... It seems like the guy's kind of a shyster. ...and his buddy have made some lasting impressions. They were just weird dudes, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, scumbags. <laughs> yeah. Ready for the tip-off? I want my money back. Then let's play. So you're lying to me. No, 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 you're lying to me, John. In your face. Swish. Ryan is the athletics manager at the Midland Michigan Community Center. The 24 teams that we have, I tell them and I'm very clear about the fact that they are not going to be playing in any Magic's Tour, period. Magic's Tour is John Graham's company. They advertise online claiming they have lots of tournaments. The team shell out as much as $400 to enter. Ryan had a few of his teams sign up and pay up. We paid for a tournament that did not run and we were not compensated. Not only did it not run, but the hoops that we had to jump through uh, over the course of those few days was just completely unacceptable, unprofessional on every level. Ryan says John Graham not only canceled, but did so at the last minute. The same thing happened to Brian. The tournament was canceled actually the day before um, it was supposed to take place. Brian coaches little guys, the Washington Township Chargers. How did you guys feel when you found out it was canceled? I felt very depressed because I like I love the game of basketball. So okay. sad. We didn't get to play. Sad, yeah. Brian, the coach, had paid for not one but two tournaments. The second one got canceled too. Brian asked John for his money back and says he was told the money is forfeited back to Magic Stores. So he canceled, but he gets to keep the money. Correct. Magic Tour did finally give the Chargers a tournament a few weeks later to play in. He was just stringing us along. Mark is one of the players' father. As you can see, the facility they played the tournament in isn't exactly the palace of Auburn Hills. There was water dripping from the light bulbs mm, from the had, ceiling. Yeah, we had to play yeah. on tile, and it wasn't very sturdy. This player broke his collarbone in the tournament, which consisted of only three teams. We booked a tournament through them. Dale's a baseball coach, yeah. Magic's Tour does baseball tourneys too. And he just comes out and says, we canceled the tournament because the fields weren't, were not winterized prior to us knowing. And I was like, well, how do I, and I got 11 kids that are ready to play tomorrow. Dale gave John another chance on another weekend. That tournament was canceled too. I contacted him on Monday and he's like, oh, we'll work on it. I'll talk to Quentin, who was his partner. Several people told me about this Quentin character. When John's had enough of an unhappy customer, he hands the phone to Quentin, who apparently gets pretty nasty to the customers. Come on down, I'm gonna kick your ass. And who said that? Um, John Graham's partner. That's a pretty safe threat, because if you do decide to come on down, it's unlikely you'll find the magic men from Magic's Tour. This is supposedly their office. Neighbors told me they're no longer there. John Graham's main business address is a post office box. And since the tournaments are booked online and over the phone, none of these customers have ever even met John Graham or Quentin. But I'm going to meet them because John just dropped off his buddy to run into a restaurant. Hey, John. Hi, it's Rob Walchick from Fox 2. How you doing, Rob? Good. Can I ask you a few questions about your uh, basketball tournaments? John looks inside the restaurant, hoping his pal hurries up. I got a Robert, bunch of people Rob, that are complaining. If you want to have a meeting with me, mm -hmm. we'll have a meeting Monday or Tuesday. I'd love to do it. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll give you my card, but I want to talk yeah. to you now about well, this before all these kids show up at this I don't tournament. Have time to talk to you you, is this tournament going to come off this weekend? John says he's got his biggest tournament of the year coming up. He's too busy to hear about tournaments he didn't pull off. Let me just read you off the names of these people here. Rob. You got the Chargers from Washington Township. They say you owe them money. You did canceled you, the Rob, tournament. Did you go look at our refund policy? You know you got to got to bunch of complaints. You got an F on the BBB scale. We got a no scale on the BBB. That sure looks like an F to me. Where's your office at? My office is in Fenton, Michigan. Where in Fenton? 
It's off of Leeway Road. Mm -hmm. What's the address of it? I, I, I will get a hold of you Monday. Where do you want to meet Monday? Yeah, what's the address of your office? Because I went looking for your office. Okay. I'll see you Monday morning, Rob. See, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. You're lying to me, John. John invites me to his tournament over the weekend. I tell him I'll go, but keep on questioning him about these unhappy customers. What about this Ryan Longoria guy? I talked to him the other day up in Midland. He yeah. says you owe him money. Yeah. Seems like a really decent guy. Ryan's a nice guy. He's not a bad guy. His team's play. So, all right. Have a good day. See you later. John just bails on the guy inside the restaurant, so I go inside to talk to him. I suspect it's John's right-hand man, Quentin. Hey, Quentin? No. Who are you? Are you here with John? No. John Graham? My name's Aaron. Your name's Aaron? I'm not with John Graham. Okay. Who's John Graham? Hmm, I got a feeling this is Quentin, but I'll play along. What are you doing today, Aaron? Drinking coffee, sure. relaxing, Yeah. day off work. Where do you work? Actually, I do daycare with my wife. Okay. All right, quite a lot. I was nice to Aaron because I wasn't exactly sure he was the guy who got out of John's Hummer. But now I am because there he is getting into John's Hummer. I show video of this guy to neighbors at John's old business. They tell me that's Quentin, the hothead. He would walk around out here on the phone screaming, yelling at people. I don't know who he was talking to, but it was like a daily occurrence. So why this guy lie? Tell me his name was Aaron and that he didn't even know John Graham? Maybe because this guy's actually Quentin Bartlett and he has a criminal record. And maybe because the sheriff's department in Eaton County told me they'd like to talk to Quentin. And John Graham's no prince either. He's been sued and lost several times. In fact, he filed for bankruptcy last year because he owes tons of vendors, sportswear apparel companies, schools. In the tournament of life, this guy doesn't even play. Hey, John, I got a trophy for you. You're the champ of the chumps. You're in the Hall of Shame. I did go to the tournament John invited me to. It looked good, but I didn't see John there. Remember, John told me at our first encounter, he'd be happy to sit down and talk with me. That never happened. After ignoring my calls for a couple of days, he told me over the phone, his attorney said not to speak to me because, quote, that guy's a slime ball, meaning me. He says he holds 180 events a year. He told me he goes over and beyond to help people out. Then he threw the F word at me and hung up.